I'm Samantha Clayton, and this is a beginner post-workout stretch. It's important after your workout to always stretch your muscles. This is my training partner, Julie. And let's start by stretching out the wrists and the calves at the same time. I love my combo exercises. So let's sit back, pull the toe forward, and then hold on to one hand and pull the wrist back. A lot of the exercises that we do, such as plank and push-up, really involve the wrists. And so I think it's really important that after every workout, you take time to stretch those muscles. Remember, pull the toe towards the shin so that you feel that stretch in the calf. And now let's push ourselves forward, coming up onto the toes. And now let's pull the wrist gently towards you. Staying up on the toes, really feeling that stretch in, in the calf muscles. You want to hold each stretch for 10 to 15 seconds each one. It's plenty. And then you want to just switch sides. What you do on one side, you must always do on the other to stay balanced. So start out pulling the toe back, hand in front. And again, just gently pulling back on the fingers and pulling the toe towards the shin. You should really start to feel that stretch in the back of your leg. I even feel it in my hamstring a little. And then gently rock forward, going back up onto the toes, stretching the wrist in the opposite direction this time. It's great to spend a few minutes after every workout doing a cool down. Helps to just get your mind ready for the rest of your day. Okay, so now bring your feet together. We're gonna to take one arm across the body to stretch out the shoulders and the back. Make sure that you hold above the elbow joint. We never wanna push on our joints. So kind of holding onto your biceps, stretching one arm across the body. And you should really feel that stretch down the back of your shoulder. A lot of people have a tendency to shrug their shoulders up, but don't pull the shoulders down. Extending the neck, feel that stretch. What you do on one side, you always do on the other. Open up and then cross over to the other side. Always feels good to stretch after a workout. Now another muscle that's used a lot with all our plank and push-ups is the triceps. So let's go ahead, take one arm over the back Holding just above the elbow, you want to try and extend the hand down the back. So you're using this top hand to gently push down. What you want to be aware of for this exercise is that you're keeping your chest lifted and that your hand is not pushing your neck forward. You want to be looking up in front. Then open up wide and then repeat on the other side. For some people, they're not very flexible in their shoulders, and that's okay, just work with it. One day at a time, a few seconds at a time. This is a great stretch to do while you're sat at your desk too. And now from here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it to the floor and stretch out the lower body. So go ahead, sit down first, and then slowly roll out back. You wanna have one leg straight, Bend one knee, holding just below the knee. You wanna go ahead and pull your knee into your chest and just hold right there. This is great for stretching out the hips. You should feel this stretch through the hips. You'll feel it through the hamstring. And also, if you pull in tight, you can feel a stretch in your upper back too. Go ahead, slowly release, put one foot down and then lift up the other. Go ahead and hug it as tight to your chest as you can. Keeping the toe flexed. Enjoy that stretch, feel it in the inner thigh. And then you wanna go ahead and roll over onto your side because now we're gonna stretch out the quad muscles. So roll onto your side, get comfortable. Go ahead, hold onto your foot. And you just wanna gently, holding your foot, just pull back and you should feel this stretch right down the front of your quad. 
Feel the front of your legs stretching out, especially if you've been doing squats. And then we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn over onto our other side and go ahead and do that quad stretch on the other side. Really feel that stretch down the front of the thigh. If you wanna deepen the stretch, go ahead and push your foot into your hand and that'll deepen the stretch. It's really important after every workout that you spend some time working on your flexibility with a cool down stretch. 